What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So recently got asked a question regarding how I find my niches and locations for building a new lead gen or affiliate site. So the first part I want to answer is that every single niche is in fact profitable. People ask all the time, well what's the best niche, niche to choose? And they all work. Some niches in some cities are going to be very, very competitive. And if you're doing something like running ads, which we don't really do or talk about on this channel, but if the price for a click is equal or greater than the price for a qualified lead that comes in, then it's not going to be worth your time. But what you can do is outrank the competition that is in that search result. Every single search result page you can disrupt. Now for the actual location selection, what I will do in most instances is I will select an area where I know the cities to an extent. However, if you're doing this for a plumbing site or any type of just urgent need service, the city doesn't matter. There's going to be the traffic there. However, if you're doing something for like landscaping, tree services, remodeling, any of that stuff that's a rather expensive service and it's not a true emergency in most cases, then you're gonna to wanna to at least know your area that you're working in. So my process for this is really just looking at the search engine result. The first thing I do is look at the monthly search volume and the cost per click for ads. And you can check this out very easily with keywords everywhere, the Chrome extension. Even if this data here is zero, which it shows for the vast majority of keywords outside of a major city, there are still people looking for those services in every single city in every single niche with the exception of maybe like a town of 200 or 100 people somewhere in rural Wyoming. However, it isn't going to take much to rank in that tiny town somewhere in rural Wyoming. And then when the call does actually come in, if there are three, four, maybe 10 a year, you're the one that's able to capture them. But anyways, when it comes to that volume being zero, just Google's bots haven't really recognized the actual data in there. And it's probably quite low. However, don't let that deter you from targeting those searches. And I've said it tons and tons of times here on the channel, but don't let that deter you from targeting those cities. So an example of this, of demonstrating the actual value in these search results, is that my landscape company, we routinely pulled in new clients throughout the entire season, and, and they're worth anywhere between five to $10,000 or more from a city plus service keyword that shows zeros still to this day. The search result is right here zeros all across the board. And actually the Google Maps listing is still sitting here. I should really put a phone number on here, but it shows zeros, but we routinely pulled in new clients right from the search. Now granted that you are not the one that's actually doing the service, so you don't capture the entire value of that client, but each one of those leads could easily be worth 50 bucks to a business owner that understands the value of customers. Obviously some landscape companies are gonna be really cheap when it comes to this and they're only gonna to wanna to pay like $10, but that's because they're uneducated and they don't understand it. So it's your job as the marketer to explain to them that, hey, these leads are worth X, this is absolutely worth it. But think about it like this. Even if just two qualified leads came through this search result every single month through the entire season, which is only a six month season, because again, seasonality, snows, and landscaping only happens for about six months, that's 600 bucks through the whole year from one page that you could rank with pretty much on-page content. And I almost guarantee you would not need a single off-page link pointing at this page to rank here, which, which would be like a city plus service page. Let's see if there's any company that has one. Yeah, right here. I can almost guarantee with on-page, you could rank for this search result with basically no links except citations pointing to the site. Now, for when it comes to the actual competition analysis, I've done videos on this here on the channel. The course goes really in depth with it as well. But what I'll do is go through the search result and you look at the referring domains with either Moz or SEMrush, Ahrefs, whatever aggregator you want to use. And then I will also look at the quality of the links that the competition has as well. So are they a bunch of citations? Are they from news station sites? Are they from high authority blogs in the niche or, or where are they coming from? So just look at that or where are they coming from? That's what really matters. And then I also look at who the competition is. Is it Yelp, is it HomeAdvisor, or is it a local company that has an SEO company doing the work for them? Or is it just a national company that has high authority and any city plus service page they build is gonna hit the, is gonna hit the first page with ease, so to speak. So also you wanna check out their on-page content, see how much volume they have, and the quality of the content on the page as well. 
And then the next step is to just get to work. Any search result can be disrupted. It is just going to take longer though with bigger cities because you have more competition and there's more work that needs to get done. For example, if you're building a plumber site to try to rank in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, that's a big city with I don't know how many million people. There's lots and lots of companies. There's lots and lots of traffic. They're all competing to get that. So it's going to take you a long time to rank for that city. That's just the reality of it. People will always ask, well, I just built this site and it's a week old. Why am I not ranking? Or, or when can I start doing PBNs? And the answer to that is that you really just have to wait. This is a multi-month game, but the long-term game with this comes with the ability to be able to sell this site in the future. And if you want immediate results with this, you can just go run ad. Unless you use SEO as your long-term backend strategy, the site's not going to have value in six months outside of you being the one that is in charge of running the ads. So that is that. So with that all said, if you guys have any questions on this, leave a comment down below. And if you like this type of content, I would appreciate it if you went down below, dropped a like on this video. And if you want to join the family and stay up to date on the journey, be sure to go down below, smash that subscribe button, and also hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content comes live here on the channel. And if you want to learn more in-depth information on building websites, ranking them in search engines, and monetizing them, there's a link down below to my course. And if you want to get access to the nine most profitable paper call and lead gen niches, and there's a link to download that right down below this video as well. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.